the protests against the federal energy and environmental policies of the Liberal government. But despite organizers' objections, uh, it's been dogged by allegations of racism. Earlier today, I had a chance to attend the protest and, and to speak with one of its organizers, Pat King. Here's our conversation. And joining me now is Pat King, one of the organizers of the convoy. Pat, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So, Pat, why are you here today in the nation's capital? Um, because as a Canadian citizen, we have not had our voices heard. Um, we have watched our bills, these bills come into play um, without any... Uh, um, asking us, the professionals, uh, what's the best way of putting pipeline into the ground. Instead, they want to just handcuff us for every every uh, opportunity for... Um, see, I'm not very up-to-date on the terminology of it, but we as professionals know how the oil and gas industry work, and they're trying to handcuff us by using these new bills to try and... Um, be able to stop our exploration of the oil and gas industry, uh, stop some projects, stop us being able to um, uh, work, basically. So in doing that, it's shut down our province. We've had, uh, I believe it's over 120,000 people are out of work. Last month, it was 16,000 lost, another 10,000 lost, and then the month before that, another 12,000 lost. It's just, it's, it's rolling downhill like a domino. You're originally from Sault Ste. Marie. You moved out west to Red Deer about 22 years ago. That's right. You know, so you, you know the east, you know the west. What are some things that Easterners need to know about the situation in the west? Well, the Easterners need to know that you guys have your oil and gas industry too. Um, they have lots of reservoirs out there. We can build a pipeline from there to, to the west coast. We don't have to start in Alberta. What we have to do is we got to unite this country as one and, and, and run under one flag. We're not just one person. We are a country. This country was the United We Roll Convoy for Canada. We left Red Deer at uh, 6 o'clock in the morning to get this message across. We were expecting some flack. We were expecting some issues. We didn't get that. And you know why? It's because for years we were told that we are a divided country that in the East didn't want what the West wants, but it's actually the opposite. It's 100% the opposite. The love and support that we... The love and support that we've had from the communities coming across has been absolutely unbelievable. We have had fireworks. We've had the native indigenous communities, uh, Miigwech, Batswana. They come in and they threw us a fireworks show that was absolutely unreal. And it started at Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario and rolled 80 kilometers into the Sioux, my hometown. And they welcomed us with open arms. And the indigenous people from there knew me, know who I am, know what this has been. I've gone viral. I've run across this country in uh, the lead vehicle. And everybody has seen it coming through. And to have that warm, open... Um, atmosphere and humbled feeling was so emotional it was unbelievable but there's also though as you know there, there's also been some concern raised about some of the elements represented by the movement there, there's concern about extre that. extremist elements that, that there are some people who are seem to be sympathetic to to white nationalism uh, there, there's some people who are expressing anti-migrant views as well okay, people, so people expressing racist views how do you respond to that and is that reflective of the movement I love this question because this question absolutely is the epitome of this movement um, we are not racist we have every ethnicity in this convoy we have every ethnicity group uh, with us um, we are not a racist movement by far none of it we are peace love absolute honor honorable people we're just blue collar people wanting to get to work but you can't deny that there are some, some and they might be a minority, but there's some people who seem to express some of those views. No, or is that incorrect? Well, the guys that are doing that, they are their own group, and they want to have that platform and offer that view, and they want to have that opinion. So you don't, you don't endorse them? No, not and at they all. They don't represent your group? No. They are a part of it because we asked everybody to come. We don't care. Anybody who wanted to join this movement, to have their voices heard on Parliament, we were willing to get that happening. Now, we had your reporters on the bus with us. You know this. You guys, are we invited everybody. We asked people to come. And if they wanted to join, then they could. Um, their ideologies and their, their, um, what their beliefs are, they can have that. It's not ours. They're, when it comes to the UN Migration Pact, it's not that we are against immigration. We absolutely love immigration. 
We are a country that was built on immigration. Now what we are against is illegal immigration. We do not want people coming into our country unvetted. We want to know that these people are going to come, adopt our cultures, adopt our beliefs, the Canadian beliefs that everybody loves and adores as Canadians. They're, they're, what does that have to do with pipelines? That has to do with pipelines. The pipeline is a focus of uh, a corruption in the government. That is the focus to show how these... Sorry. So the, the, what that shows is there's a corruption and they're trying to hide these bills and these and handcuff us without hearing us. And then when they can't hear us, they're a government for the people and they're not listening. So we came here to wake them up. It's time you start listening to the Canadian citizens. And if people want to um, hold that bias that we are racist, I'm going to stand here on my one leg, because I have a prosthetic leg, and I'm going to tell you right now, we are not racist. What action do you want politicians to take tomorrow? M my own personal? I'm speaking personally, okay? This is not in any way represented. I brought myself a pink slip, and I would like to hand it to Mr. Trudeau, because I think that what I have been seeing in my government, I have lost complete faith in my government. And so has thousands and hundreds of thousands of Canadians. We've lost faith in our government and we can't take it anymore. The best thing was this SNC-Lavalin exposure. It was 100% bang on and we were like, yes, there it is. There it is. There's the nail on the head. Pat King, it's good of you to join us. Thanks so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Very spirited, determined, and defiant Pat King there. He's one of the organizers of the United We Roll convoy. He and his fellow protesters will be back here on Parliament Hill tomorrow morning. Omar, back to you. A lot of varied messages there with the convoy, and uh, it will be hard for politicians to ignore that many people on the Hill tomorrow as well. Thanks for that, Adrian. Adrian Harewood co-hosting our show tonight live okay. from Parliament Hill.